Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Nicholas Mage and Dragon Age Inquisition. Last time, we saved the future from the present from the future by defeating the Venatari, who I'm still convinced are named after the bad guys in Twilight. I saw a third of one of those movies. I think I know what I'm talking about. The tweens know what I'm talking about. This episode, though, an even more important quest. One that may change the fate of Thetis forever. We have to mend things with Cassie, because she is pissed. Also, a giant rift in the sky. But first, the rift in her heart. Also, we should probably talk to everyone around here. And maybe go do some things in the Hinterlands. Mostly because it wouldn't be a Jesse playthrough without the Hinterlands. 95% of the time. But also, because there's a, like two or three quests I want to finish there. And then we'll come back and we'll go to the war room. But first, let's go talk to people. I guess we'll start with Solus, <laughs> since I'm the only one who talks to him anymore. Oh wait, what? Dorian? The Inquisition supports free mages. What's next? Elves running Halamshiral? Cows milking farmers? <laughs> I mean, I'll think of something. Give me time. I'm sure I'll surprise you. I suspect that's untrue. Unless you strip yourself naked and allow the Chantry to flog you into repentance. What now? Now that would surprise me. Go I do on. wonder if you've considered what the support of yours will do. For majors in general, I mean. The Inquisition is seen as an authority. You've given southern majors license to, well, be like majors back home. No, I allowed them to be part of the Inquisition. I don't... Oh, no. <laughs> Being the boss sucks. Why, why couldn't this be like Dragon Age, one of the guys, where I'm just a soldier... And I'm told to do things, and that's literally it. My decisions are like, where will I poop today? What ration will I eat? Should I stab this guy in the face or in the crotch? <laughs> Those are the decisions I want to make. Oh, I have a feeling if I went Templar, it would have been like, they're so oppressive, they're oppressing everyone. What should we do? All these choices, too diplomatic for me. I have a feeling from now on, oh, it's going to be a lot of this. All right, well, wait, what? So long as they're like you, yeah. If that means they're anything like you, I approve. Nice. Ha! There aren't many majors back home like me. I'd believe that. I never fit in. Uh. Bloodstains are so difficult to clean, you see. So we're doomed to a future of blood magic, then? Not at first. But you'd be a fool not to see where this could lead. Thing is, the Imperium was once just like the South. Templars, proper circles, all that rot. Then it changed, by inches. Not that this is reason to oppress us. Still, my homeland should be a cautionary tale, not a source of inspiration. All right, we'll put a leash on the mages. I feel like that is something we will have to deal with throughout the rest of this game because of that one choice. But, I now understand. All right, have you seen Alexius? Have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cells. Not yet, no. I saw him before they locked him up. He looked despondent, broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I suppose the Inquisition will judge him eventually. I wonder if there's any chance they'll show him mercy. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left of the man I once knew. Yeah, for a guy introduced so early in the game, I feel like he's got some sort of redemption story, right? Also... Does he mean the cells that are literally, like, right inside there in that building back there? We will check it later. Also, Dorian, anything else? It occurs to me that you're a mage. That what? just occurred to you? I meant, you must have been part of the circle of magi in the south. Meaning, you were locked away like a criminal, at least until you rebelled. It's such a bizarre notion to what? me. Wait, I mean, I kind of agree, yeah. It's bizarre to me as well. I believe this is a moment where we stand in mutual recognition of mankind's folly. It's more surprising that everyone would take the idea of a mage inquisitor so... calmly. Or maybe it's not calm. Maybe the Antivan crows are swimming in gold from all the contracts on your life. No! Good luck with that, by the way. Grand fun being the one in charge. Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby! Great. Well, see? Being in charge, it sucks. Oh, tell me about yourself. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. 
Beyond my being a mage from Davinti, you mean? Beyond that, yes. And beyond my being so charming and well-dressed, which is obvious to anyone. You are wonderful, Dorian. Uh, it's obvious to me. I'm well aware of your finer qualities, believe me. Of course I believe you. The moment I saw you, I thought, there's a man who knows quality. Now, what was I talking about? <laughs> ah, yes, me. <laughs> I am the scion of House Parvus, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. Careful breeding? Uh, let's go with your family's anger with you first. Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. Ah, there's the careful we breeding. Lived in luxurious despair, despising each other as I waited to take my father's place in the magisterium. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far from home. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see. Hmm. All right. Well. Oh, I can. You. I, so you don't like to venture then? I'm getting the impression you don't care much for your homeland. On the contrary, I care for my homeland a great deal. There's so much potential. Sadly, we squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. Not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, we're the minority. Okay, but why do you care? It just seems so much of what you say about the Imperium is entirely negative. It might sound that way. For all our faults, my people have many virtues. We are laden with history and culture. Tevinter is where Thedas truly began, remember? We treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street and find nothing built during the modern ages. And despite appearances, we care deeply about everything. We have no reserve, not in war and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. Okay, well then why not go back? Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Tevinter? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Not that it matters, I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. I can do more for Tevinter here. If the Venatori succeed, it'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree, but that's why we kill them. Okay, so let's talk about breeding. What did you mean by generations of careful breeding? The great families of Tevinter don't have children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. Well, good to know. That's enough for now. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. <laughs> Ah, oh, Dorian, I aspire to be you. All right, that's enough. We'll deal with the Imperium later. I should go. As you wish. All right. Now for Solus. Sorry, buddy, I was on my way. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the Fade? I mean... I'm... I, I'm a mage, I should know the difference, right? I've been to the Fade before. I'd know it. Point taken. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witness. Yeah, well, amazing isn't the word. Whoa, I saw you there? Did we? I don't remember that. I know we saw an elf who I thought was him, but it w we need to see how far down the rabbit hole this goes. I'm surprised you're not more interested in your own future. I know enough. If that future happened, then I and Cassandra 
Cullen and the rest failed to stop this Elder One. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. Great. Well, <laughs> man's got a point. Also, oh, what the? Ground scraper? It's like a ground scraper in training. Keep on scraping, pal! Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Solus has a point. It is good to be surrounded by mages again. Really? The debate, the crackle of magic, the smell of old books. Turns me on! It's a magical problem. Oh, well. The mages will help us solve it. That's not where I was going to go with it, but... I guess before we see Liliana, we should see Thren, because I don't really talk to her ever. Master Harris says the new recruits will have armor ready soon. Uh, all right. Can I help you with something? Um, let me ask about you. How did you end up here? How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I serve for Eldon under Ten Logan McTeer. I'm sorry, what? Best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though. There wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Yeah, no, um... King Alistair offered my services to the Inquisition. Probably to get rid of me. About Loghain. Mmm. Yeah, alright. I don't know lore-wise if my character would know about this. I assume he would. I assume everyone would. But I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna be political. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm glad you believed in him. Hopefully you'll believe in me. That's some loyalty right there. Your loyalty to the man you served is admirable, Quartermaster. Thank you. A lot of people seem to think they know what happened at Ostagar, but I was there. Turn Loghain never betrayed his king. If he brought the reinforcements, Darkspawn would have just killed everyone. Um, well... He did what he had to do to save our country, and we betrayed him. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. <laughs> All right, done. Forgotten. Goodbye. Farewell. Make a go with you. All right, speaking of Liliana, we'll go over here. Oh, what the... What the hell are you doing? Leg stretches? <laughs> Just getting in some Pilates. What? Oh, what? What? What is... <laughs> you know what? Time to interrupt it that. It seems Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. <sighs> As for the other Wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. Why do I get the feeling you're looking for one Warden in particular? Oh, also, I watched you die for me. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. Mm-hmm. You are. You're just too humble. Also, I'm not going to tell her that it was worse. Or that she murdered an innocent kid. Well, man-child, whatever. It was still noble. It was still a sacrifice. And still noble. And I would do it again. Alright, um... Any updates? Anything I should know? Altegan has returned to Redcliffe Castle and resumed his duties as Lord. Good. The people are returning, slowly but surely. Unfortunately, our show of support for the mages has angered many. About that. There's one of those many I gotta deal with. I'll leave you to your work. Alright. I guess, um... Let me go see Cassie. Oh, wait. Actually, Varric first. Varric? The Mage Rebellion Whoa. joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. And finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. Sp speaking of punching a hole, something's punching a hole through the earth behind you, man. Damn mole people coming to take you away. Um, can we just go with how fast is... Yeah, let's question. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect oh, people in Kirkwall, people, but no one there was actually oh, ingesting people. the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. 
Well, we have to eliminate it, then. We can't leave a single piece of that lyrium out in the wild. I'm with you on that. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But that's enough doom and gloom. Yeah, let's talk about that giant hole in the big sky. victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? I mean, the, g the game knows what I'm going to choose. Uh, yeah, I mean, obvious answer is just chill. We're not going to party, but I'm going to take a break. I was planning to put my feet up, maybe grab a nap. You? Whatever I do, it'll be as far from Cassandra as I can get. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. She's gonna let me know first, because I'm on my way to see her. All right. Everything is this. The world is falling apart around us. All right. Cassandra, my dear. Oh, I should go see Sarah, too. I'll do that on the way back. Cassandra? <gasps> Have you already moved on? No! And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do. Complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the Circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal with Extreme close-up! Hi guys, how's everything going? It never ends, evidently. Uh-huh, that's the truth. You don't need to tell me that. I just don't know who told them I'm the one to yell at. Is it that bad? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. It is your doing, after all. You created this alliance. Well... I mean, I like I like that highlighted answer. Um... Yeah, no, I, I... I did the best I could. If anyone could understand that, she could. I had to think on my feet, and I did what I could. Oh! oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? Nailed I it. don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. Yes. Yes. Oh, and now we move in for the kill, you flatterer, you. You're flattering me. I'm not. This always happens. Nobody ever takes my <laughs> meaning. <laughs> you should see your face. I'm thinking less flattering things now. <laughs> Let's hope the breach has your sense of humor. Why would you laugh like that? <laughs> oh, my throat hurts too much. Oh, man, that was funny. Why would he, why would he do that? That's the creepiest. I want you to love me. <laughs> All right, Nick. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. Oh yeah, do you and I have a do you and I have a problem? Cause I know you're not a fan of the mages. You weren't happy with how I brought in the mages. You have a problem with me as well. Of course not. I have no intention of endangering your alliance, but I must ensure the safety of those here. That concern extends to the mages. They are putting themselves at risk for the Inquisition, as are you. Any precautions taken are meant to aid you, nothing more. I hope you will accept them as such. Mm. Man's got a point. We do have to watch out. If Dorian's right, and eventually, inch by inch, we could have blood mages. It's probably for the best. All right, uh, let's investigate. No, all right, let's go, let's go back. Oh, anything I should know? Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. All right, speaking of Bull's men, let's go talk to them. Now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. All right. Bull? Uh-oh, let's avoid that fight. Well, actually, let's talk to Krem first. What up? Nice work at Redcliffe. I could help the mages learn to work with Inquisition soldiers, if you like. 
<clears throat> Not that the chief has any apostates in the group. Mm-hmm. All right, well, how can we use you? Oh, I like that. Iron Bull said the chargers were at my disposal. Do you have any suggestions on how to use them? The Templars have holed up in Thoranfall Redoubt. No idea what's happening inside. I could have some of the boys poke around. If nothing yeah, else, we get right. a better look at the land. Yeah, that works. All right, we'll deal with the chargers later. We'll talk later. Bull? So, that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? <laughs> look, I'm with you on that, pal. Um... Wait, can I, can I... I'm doing it! Don't worry, I'll protect you. If you're worried about magic, I can protect you. My blade pretty much protects me. Perhaps I can do things your blade can't. Whoa! I don't know. It has blood grooves. <laughs> well, technically, it's the fuller, but blood grooves sound so much more violent. Anyway, I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. Iron Bull. Iron Bull. Fantastic. My team is comprised of the best of Thetis. Also, Thetis apparently ripping apart. Great. There was never going to be an easy answer to the mage dilemma. What you did for the mages took courage. You gave them a chance. Everyone deserves one. Thank God someone agrees with me. Anything else? Inquisitor? Hmm, investigate. Let's talk about you, thoughts on the Inquisition. I mean, we've done all that, yeah? We'll talk later. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Great. Yeah, I have a feeling what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring him and Cassie and Varric to the Hinterlands. Uh, mostly because I need him for those Warden quests, and I need Varric for the other quests that are there, and Cassie's just a good tank. So that should be two ranged and two melee, and we'll... We'll go from there. Okay, next stop, Sarah. Perfect. Hello. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes. I bet all of Ferelden lost their curses. <laughs> uh huh. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. Well, they're here to help us. Yeah, let's do that. These mages are here to aid the Inquisition. Don't worry. Sure. Don't worry. Magic up there, magic down here. What's to worry about? I mean, yay, freedom. Great for them. <laughs> Over there, away from me. Oh, Sarah, you're like a me, but a lady me. Um, we investigate more? No, we're good. Carry on. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. She even answers the same way. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Can't jump those ladies. That is frowned upon here. See me kneel, for I walk only where you okay, so first stop will be over here. Vivian? If Fiona and her malcontents Whoa, join why? us what are you... allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations are inevitable. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. Why are you disapproving of any of anyone here you should understand? What do you... We can clearly control the mages. We're not going to keep them hidden. Hold on. Hold on. We can control the mages. We can handle the mages. There's no need for Templars. Have any of these men faced an abomination what? before, my dear? Have you? The veil is broken, and the raw power of the Fade rushes out like floodwaters through a shattered levee. You know as well as I do that mages attract demons where the veil is thin. And if demons can walk our world with no blood magic to summon them, how safe do you think our allies are? There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. Wow, aren't you a Debbie Downer? All right, well... Yeah, wait. Do you pose a risk, then? If you're seeing demons everywhere, do you believe you're a risk? Do you believe I am? We are a risk, darling. Better to know it and use caution. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. Mm. All right. Well, I agree with you. We need to do something. Everyone seems on board with this, so all right. You're preaching to the choir, Vivienne. Tell me something. 
You said once that you wanted to change things. What future would you build for mages? Hmm. If we let mages be free, then the whole blood magic thing. If we take them back to the circle, they're basically slaves again and prisoners. I mean, this is the only answer I don't know what the outcome would be, so we're doing it. Mages shouldn't be kept out of the Chantry. Who knows the dangers of magic better than a mage? A curious idea. Wow. Such twists and turns your mind takes. It's something Did I just outsmart her? Idea. Yeah, the power of not knowing what I'm doing. Done. Take that, Vivian. All right. Um, oh, actually, we can go the in here. Oh. appreciates your assistance in this matter, Lady Corbin. And my miners appreciate your business. You'll have your lyrium by the end of the week. I should tell you, Ambassador, the Chantry raised some fuss when they learned about our arrangement. The Inquisition must certainly seem an audacious idea to the Grand Clerics. We hope to convince them it is a necessary one as well. Hmm. Josie, what's going on? I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the dwarves to secure lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corbin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh. Access to lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. Mm, well, they shouldn't be doing that. It's needed, yeah, they need that comfort now more than ever. The Chantry should be a place of hope, not another group scrambling for answers. That must be its strength again. The Chants did much to bridge nations. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? And Rasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I can see the importance. I suppose a shared faith can be useful when talking with strangers. Precisely. And these similar interests are merely where we begin. We must learn to think beyond our own wants to secure peace in Thedas. You sound too good to be true. Yeah! How did someone so lovely and selfless go into our Legion politics, Lady Montelier? Well, that is, uh, Really, you give me too much credit. While you're here, I do have a question. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? Oh, no. Politics again. Being a leader sucks. All right, well... I mean, I have to make the choice. I'm not going to be like, how will you? Um, it, obviously, it's going to be how I reply, so... I'm going to go with what I've said the entire time. I don't claim to be holy. I never did. I just am very lucky. I tell the Chantry I was saved by circumstance, not divine intervention. Yet, as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. Was there a right answer? Was that like a test of our love? What? Oh, man. You're killing me, Josie. You're killing me. Oh, also we'll go over here. Speaking of killing. We can use that. I did a lot of that. I think I have a few more things. I guess it'll just take time to turn in. Uh, let's go down here and just check. Do you think he's down here? Oh, see, there's the other things I had. Ow. Just whacking stuff with my damn staff. Story of my life. Staff whacking. And I can't get in because I'm not a rogue. I don't see him, though. Hello? Alexis? Alexis, are you down here? There's a chest. There's mats. There's no man, though. There's notes. Cell doors. More mats. A 
No man. All right. Well, I assume he's somewhere in a cell. Probably in Redcliffe, maybe? I don't know. All right. Well, I think I've done all I can do for the moment. Uh, I'm going to grab my team. Gonna grab my gonna grab my squad and head out to the hinterlands. Oh actually probably should sell stuff. Then we'll go to the hinterlands and we'll do that next time. Yeah! Oh my poor voice. It is gone. I have lost it. But that's nothing tea and water can't cure. Throw in some honey, throw in some lemon, boom. We're back in business. Uh this week there's gonna be a lot of these episodes, so stay tuned! And as always. Continued.